All right, y'all. Country Grammar comes out with the win there in the Peter Pan. Uh, the pace was really slow compared to what I thought. They only went 48 seconds and a half mile. Uh, Rosario took Mohawk way out in the lead in the beginning. It looked like they were going to go fast, but then they just slowed it down. They did that New York thing where they kind of walk around the track there. And uh, by the time they got it going, uh, Mystic Guy was just way too far out of the race. Uh, um, Ortiz kept him way on the back and uh, he wasn't able to get it going. Karakaro was in a much better position along with Country Grammar. Um, they ended up going at it at the end. It looked like Karakaro had him. Then Country Grammar kept at it. I read Ortiz Jr. ended up fighting it out for a win. They called it a photo, but it wasn't really a photo. Uh, Country Grammar had the clear win in that one. Uh, Celtic Striker uh, hung around there for third. Decent run from him. He didn't get the lead like I thought of uh, uh, like these other ones, of course, um, because they went so slow. So uh, everybody had a decent amount of gas left in the end, but they walked around the track. Uh, final time was 149.3, so nothing too uh, impressive, nothing to write home about on that. But I think we will see a couple of these horses back, at least uh, the top three. I think we'll probably be running in something uh, coming up to the Derby because uh, finishing top three here, uh, we'll get you some points. And they'll try to get some more points to get into the Derby. Uh, I don't know if they're really going to scare anybody, though. I don't know if they're really scaring Tis the Law or anybody else out there that's looking good right now. But uh, Country Grammar gets the win in the Peter Pan.